I am really excited about this piano. I was first introduced to Hylan, H-A-I-L-U-N, in Las Vegas at the National Convention of the Piano Technicians Guild, and I was very impressed by it there. And now that I have one in my home, and I've worked on it, and prepped it, and looked it over, and really inspected it, I, I'm, I'm blown away by it. Um, so I just want to show you some of the things that are really exciting to me about this piano. It has a lot of neat little innovations. I feel like um, I'm working on like a, a next generation piano um, when I'm working on this. I worked on a lot of pianos in my career, um, about 10,000 of them, and I just don't see pianos like this. Uh, it has for example, as, as one good example, this is, if you can see down here, this is an aluminum key bed. The key bed is what all of the action in the keys rest on. So down here, this is made of aluminum. This is the foundation of everything. Traditionally, pianos uh, have had uh, wood key beds, and obviously wood is, is subject to changing uh, dimension slightly one way or the other over time, whereas aluminum is not. Um, and the key bed being the foundation of the touch um, is guaranteed to stay the same over time. So that is a really neat uh, innovation. These hammers are high, high quality hammers. I can hear it. Um, I know that they're high quality hammers by looking at them and just because I know what to look for. Um, but the manufacture process, uh, these are cold pressed hammers and this is the traditional way of making hammers. More recently, hammers have been made with, uh, with heat during the, during the uh, manufacture process, which causes problems with elasticity and, and it goes into problems with the tone. Whereas these cold press hammers, are, they have an excellent quality tone now and they will in the future because of the manufacture. And the type of wood that is used, this is hornbeam. Um, and these are European action parts very high quality parts. Uh, other, other neat innovations like, like the way this just sits in here. This is really kind of a cool innovation. Um, just high quality materials all around. Um, a graphs in the base. It kind of goes, goes back to uh, Aston weight uprights. Usually you only see A graphs in grand pianos, but putting them in uprights, I think that's really kind of a cool cool thing to do. Um, in the, uh, on the keyboard, this is, this is very high quality. These, these sharps are excellent quality. Um, I can feel it. It, it has, it has good, good weight to it and it's, and it's just beautiful. And also this key, uh, this fall board is the slow fall lid, which is very nice. Um, you'll never get slam, slamming down on fingers. And then just, just all around, it's just better parts. This, this piano is absolutely, I would not hesitate to, to say that this piano is absolutely comparable to a Yamaha or, or a Kawai piano, which are excellent pianos. And, and this piano, in my, in my opinion, as a technician, as a technician with 15 years experience plus a musician, um, this is very excellent piano, and uh, and I'm, I'll play it for you in just a second. But no no hesitation in saying that it that it um, compares very favorably with those excellent pianos. Um, also, it comes with this adjustable bench. It adjusts here, and it also has this music compartment. And this is a very nice bench, and and this bench is just indicative of how everything else is made. Just with very high standards. The designers of this piano are um, well-known European um, designers. Piano design is a very intricate um, process. And these guys are good. And this piano is brand new. It's 48 inches, by the way. Um, this is the first time that it's been, um, that I just got it out of the crate, literally today. It came right, right from the factory. Um, um, these pedals 
They just have these leather covers on them. They're, they have shrink wrap on them right now, um, right out of the factory, so they're in perfect condition. I'll put those leather covers back on. And it has, it has a, uh, a, a European look, very, very classy design of the cabinetry. So, let's hear it. exciting for me to play, it's exciting for me to talk about. Um, one other thing about the tone is really booming bass. 48 inches is a pretty good size. Um, it's it, pretty pretty tall, but the bass, it really growls for, for that size especially. It sounds like a piano, um, a 52 inch piano or even a 54 inch piano. It really has a big, big tone. Impressive, and then up in the top, crystal clear unisons. It tuned up very well. Those unisons are, are dead on, and it just it just sounds great. So please come have a look at it. You will absolutely be blown away, as I have been. <laughs>